The following is being presented by EA Game Changers. Hi guys, Samantha here and welcome back to my channel and another first look at the newest Sims 4 game pack, Jungle Adventure. So I just to let you guys know, I did receive this early access code compliments of EA in order to come in and show you guys all of the cast build by mode items and gameplay and the such. And I just want to thank EA for the opportunity that they gave me to do so and to be able to present this stuff to you guys. So if you haven't already seen, I done a cast video and it was right before this video. So you might want to stop it and go check it out. But if you have seen it, then on this video, I'm just going to show the build by mode items and it's like furniture. We got trees, we got flooring, we got wallpaper, we got like a ton ton of stuff in the build by mode so let's switch on over to the game and check it out all right guys here we are inside the game and i just picked a little random lot in newcrest and i have my little family over here i do want to let you guys know that um, once i was in the process of dressing uh their son here i did have a problem like a little glitch uh with the shirt here it seems as if you wear this shirt and you wear it with any of the shorts it was like this shorts and it was another pair um it, it glitched the um shorts like hopefully you guys can see it it kind of did like a weird glitch with the white and it does the same thing with the boots hopefully it's something they could fix it later on like in a future patch or whatever but i did notice it was these shorts and it was the one with the shirt tied around the waist um the like flannel shirt tied around the waist and it was another pair of jeans jean shorts and it put like a white strip and it pretty much was whatever the undershirt is whatever color it is that would be what the glitch would be so um, it's kind of disappointing that that happens because since we didn't get any bottoms for the kids stuff, it's like, okay, if I want to put him on shorts so he could, you know, be ready for his jungle adventure, um, it's like doing this weird glitch. So it kind of puts like a little whiteness in here. And I noticed it is definitely from the shirt because when you change it to the blue shirt, then that, that area gets blue, that area gets blue. If you do like the gray shirt, the same thing happens. And when you take the shirt off, it's gone. So clearly it's like a little weird glitch. But anyway, just something to look into if you end up getting the game pack and you see it just know that it happened to me too. Anyway, so I toggled everything to Jungle Adventure. So let's just go on and jump in. Uh, we got a new bed here, which is, oh, ho, 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 ho. I love this bed. Oh my goodness. Look at this. Wow. This bed is absolutely gorgeous. Okay. And it looks like we have a small version I mean, a twin and a um, double or like a queen or a king or something like that. All the same colors. This one is absolutely stunning. I like the bed a lot. And look, I like the detail with the threads and stuff like right there on the edge. That's really nice. So we got those beds. We got like a rustic stool here, which I mean, you know, it looks like a, like a little step stool type thing. Um, it comes in a lot of colors, a lot of wood colors, little natural colors. Uh, even it seems like it has like a little bit of like a little bit of a design on it. Maybe I can't really tell. I'm like, is that the shadows or is that? No, that's actually the, ch the stools. That's actually pretty cool. Pretty cool. Um, all right. And then we have this chair right here is a wooden lounger. Oh my gosh. Let's just, let's just pull out the chairs real quick and we'll just take a look at all of them because I am just this chair right here though oh my gosh this chair is beautiful oh wow i like it a lot i mean i'm loving all the color options and stuff i can't wait to see like yeah i'm like my brain is already going with the amount of build stuff that i can do because i'm trying to decide <laughs> what speed build i'm going to do already i have a couple of mind a couple of options in mind and i'm just like I can think of so many things already to do. So just got some wooden tape, wooden chairs here with like a little cushion. And then we have this stool right here. These are really nice though. Even the stool is very nice. I love the details on it. It has like the little studs and stuff in it. Um, yeah, I like that. Very nice. So love the chairs so far. And then we come up here and we look like we have the, I'm not going to even try to say the name of that chair. But we have this chair and then we have this chair, which is like all wooden. And then we also, I should say couch or sofa. I don't know why I'm calling it a chair. Anyway, and then these are like the same little colors. It looks like they tried to stick with a lot of oranges and greens and like creams and stuff like that. And then it's pink and orange with this color because I saw that on the bed earlier. I think it was like a little pink and orange option. So I really like these as well. Wow, these are gorgeous. Man, even this little pink and white option. And then for the wooden one here, it has the little pillows on it. Wow, y'all, these are really nice. They did a really good job with these. These are gorgeous. 
you definitely can sense like an aesthetic with the stuff. Like you definitely can. Like I could sense like, you know, you know how you just get a game pack or a stuff pack and you just get a vibe from it and you can instantly see like the family that uses it, the customer that might want to buy it, the atmosphere that you might want to use it in. And like this clearly has one. It clearly has it already. And so for that, I am like super excited because it's it's beautiful when you could get a new pack and you're like instantly inspired. And I mean, we're only like a couple items in. So um, here we go with this one. And then we have the cabinet, which goes on the wall. So it looks like we got new kitchen stuff, which is nice because it feels like it's been forever since we got new kitchen stuff. So let's see the colors really quick. Uh, wow. Let's get in zoom in really quick and see if there's any detail on the count on the cabinet on the countertop. I mean, um, looks like just like a little cement countertop, but I do like the colors and this yellow is very different. We don't have any yellow countertops, do we? I don't think we do. Um, and even this green is really pretty with the white, with the white wood. And then for at the top, let's see what colors we have. Oh, the same colors. So we could do the green. Oh, y'all look how cool that is. Oh, you could do like the green countertop and do like the green cabinet at the top or do the yellow cabinet at the top. Oh my goodness gracious. Oh my gosh, I love all of these. Y'all, these are beautiful. Let me see really quickly. Let's see what the other counters look like. So we got uh, this one as an edge. We got this one as a corner, which looks, I gotta keep my fingers on the keyboard here. All right, this one is a corner. Then we got this one as the regular one, which one we just saw. Let's get it this way. Oh, all right, let's turn this way. And then we have this one as an edge. Look at that with the little rod on the end. And then you got this one on as this edge. Nice. I like these a lot. I like this one with the little pool right here. It's different. It gives you like different vibes because you got this one got the little notch out. This one has like the little pool. So that's that's nice. And then as far as the cabinets go let's see we have the tall one which has like some potter like some dishes and stuff in it of course then we have this one on the edge that has dishes the corner one um which we might have to put it it's not gonna let me do it but you get the vibe it's got dishes in it as well and then we have the regular one and then we have the short one and then an edge one right here that also has like looks like dishes and like some glasses, like some stemware. And then we have this edge right here, which is another glass one. So it looks very similar to, well, maybe that was the same one and I'm getting myself confused. It's a possibility, but I love the colors so far, y'all. These are real, these are like really, really nice. So I'm just gonna get rid of these. I'm losing my, my hoodie here. I keep losing it. It's like falling. I was trying to dress for the occasion. Can't you tell? <laughs> Anyway, we got the long plank uh, table here, which is just a long wooden table. Eh, looks like something that we've had before in our game. So it's not very, okay, okay. This is when they amped it up a little bit. The colors are really nice. I like the wood, especially this contrast with the black and the gray. That's really pretty and it's long, so that's lovely. And then we got a circular table. I love circular tables. I think every table I've ever had in my life, even growing up has been a circular table. So I like that. I like that they're giving us more circular tables. And this one right here though, with the gray top and the black bottom. <gasps> love it, love it. I guess I need to do it on this angle so we can see like everything. I like this one too. Super nice, all right? So then we have this right here, which is a bathroom cabinet. Um, I wonder if it goes up against the, Okay, it's just like has some toiletries and some rolled up towels and stuff in it. This one is nice. We don't have, look at the colors on it though. It almost looked like an aged wood, like maybe the paint has been peeling or maybe it's been weathered a little bit. So I like that. And this green and I mean this blue green and sea green and yellow color is really pretty. Um, then we have this one here, which is a hallway table. I'm a big fan of hallway tables and I feel like we don't have enough in the game. I like to have like a table that's short that, you know, every, every once in a while when you're decorating your Sims house and you see like a little space where it's like, man, if I had just a long slim table, that'll be perfect right there. So I'm always like looking for stuff like this for that reason. And the wood is definitely aged. You know, it'll take a specific aesthetic of a house. You know, it'll take a, a specific Sim or in the house to kind of pull off this, but it's really nice. I do like it. Um, so then we have, that was the hallway table. Then we have another hallway table. Wow. Okay, let's get rid of this. Let's look at this hallway table. Oh, wow. This is pretty. <gasps> look at the details with the spiral um, little rod iron pieces in it. Oh my gosh. This is really pretty. 
Y'all, this black and gray is killing me right now. Like I'm, this is going to be in all of my Sims houses. It's just so classy looking. It's classy. I like the contrast, like with the gray and the black. So yeah. Oh my goodness. Yes. I love it all. I love it all so far. And I forgot to tell you guys that I am going to be giving you my honest opinion about things. I just realized I didn't say that during the little, the beginning with the disclaimer. Um, cause I don't want you guys to think just because, you know, I got it that I'm just going to be like, Oh, everything is awesome. No, I'm going to be honest with you and tell you if it's not, <laughs> but so far everything is literally awesome. And my hoodie keeps falling. Anyway, so we got this table right here, which is a, um, rustic in table. I'm not even trying to pronounce that name. I'm not going to even Salvadoria Dian. Yeah, I'm not gonna even butcher it. So and I've heard them say it. I heard them say it clearly because they've been saying it for like a weeks now. And for some reason, I just can't get it together. Anyway, so we got this table right here. Um, again, with the details on the wood. Look, each wood panel is like a different color. That is Oh my gosh, that is crazy. I love it. Look at this like each wood panel is a different color. So you could like mix and match your woods and I'm a, I'm really bad and sort of good about making sure my wood colors match. Like I will forego using certain furniture if the wood doesn't match the color of the wood. You know what I'm saying? So the fact that with this one, you could kind of play around with mixing and matching your woods because you'll have like options. Like I could see you doing like a dark something up against this. Like if you can kind of envision, like if we put this up on the wall, which is like a hanging I don't know what this is like. I, it's got like um, plates and glasses and stuff. But if you like were to do something like that and then like put that up against it and it's not the same wood color, but it kind of is cohesive. It kind of like works together. I like that. I do. Um, but I pulled this and didn't even know what this was. So this is a, a kitchenware shelf. OK, cool. So you could probably mix this in with your um, your cabinets if you wanted to. I think. Let's see. Let's see. You should be able to. I feel like if you use the alt key and you bring it over a little bit. Oh no. Okay. If you have move objects on, move objects on and you move it over and squish it next to each other, that might actually end up making like a nice little, um, you know, side, like a nice little thing on your kitchen wall. I can't think of words right now. So you got to excuse me. Um, anyway, <laughs> let's get rid of all that stuff. So I skipped the reclaimed wooden kitchen table, which wooden coffee table, sorry. And it's the same thing. It's the same little reclaimed wood where it's like different colors of the wood. And oh my God, look at this one. Y'all, oh my goodness. These are beautiful. Like I said, you could clearly see like the aesthetic here. You can. And I like this coffee table. I like big coffee tables like this. I feel like we don't have enough of them. So the fact that lately, because even with laundry day stuff, we got one. I feel like um, lately they've been definitely giving it to us. So um, we use this one already. I'll put it out again anyway. But then we got some wall shelves right here. And looks like one already has some stuff on it. So you could just do one that's already cluttered. Or if you like the clean look, you can do one that's not cluttered yet. And maybe you could clutter it with stuff. It seems like though, and we'll play around with it later. There's not that much space in between the shelves. So hopefully you could really put stuff on it. Because we've noticed that, you know, every once in a while you'll think like, oh, it's got all these shelves. And then when you go put stuff on it, it's like, eh, eh. So then you got to do the move objects on the shift, the nines, the zeros, the move things up and down and da, da, da. And sometimes... There's just not enough time in the day for me to be doing all of that, to be honest with y'all. Y'all be just be like, I just be like, let me just deal with it like how it is, <laughs> you know? Anyway, so then you got this shelf right here that has like um, dishes and stuff in it as well. And I think this one is called the Wooden Bar Caddy. Okay, that's weird. I'm gonna leave this one out too because we might could put some stuff on the shelves on this one too. And then we have this one right here, which is the Kitchen Hutch. Y'all, this whole pack is like centered around just like food and, and family and just like culture and tradition and stuff like that. So, I mean, they've definitely given us enough options. For just a second, I became speechless. This piece right here, this black and this gray, I don't know what it is about this black and this gray. It's just, it's, it's stunning. I love the black and the gray option, y'all. I just, I literally lost my, my breath for a split second. I, I don't even know what happened. I was trying to talk and I was like... <laughs> just even this black and white one right here oh my gosh they're stunning y'all these are beautiful pieces so far this is crazy okay okay let me catch myself all right let's come out some over here uh then we have a deep in the bush picnic table okay so this picnic table definitely has oh my gosh look at the details on it there's like an arrow 
<laughs> there's like writing on it. It's like someone was counting down the days till they were leaving. I don't know. Then there's a heart here. So it's definitely a table that has seen some love. It's uh, it's kind of worn, but it's funny. I like it. It actually has like some character for story play, like for gameplay and story, story play, story play. I guess that's what you would call it. story play. Yeah, um, this would definitely come in handy because it'll look like something that's just been out in the weather for a long time. Uh, then we got a ruined ruins pedestal. Alrighty, um, I have no clue. What does it say? This pedestal made from the ruins of the deep jungle temples. It's been ruined from the ravages of time, but it surprisingly has not yet been completely ruined. <laughs> Who comes up with these things? Perhaps the ancient Sims overlooked this stone. Stone. Okay, so maybe it's just like a little side table. It acts as a little side table or something. Um, I don't know. That's interesting. Then we have a little sink over here. It says opulent hand carved sink. And I'm wondering, okay, surprisingly, it does not have to be up against the wall, but I would almost think that I'd rather it up against the wall. But if you don't have it up against the wall, you see the pipes. So they're basically giving you an option. You don't have to have it up against the wall. You can see the pipes. Or if you put it up against the wall, it'll look like the, the faucet is coming out of the wall. So that's actually pretty cool. I love this glass bowl for the, the, the basin. Um, let's check out. Look, okay. I'm going to say, I'm already going to know that I'm probably going to get like, <laughs> look at the base at the right here with the details. I love it. Oh y'all. These colors are beautiful. Oh my gosh. They did a really good job so far. You know, like even if you didn't like the cast items so far, the bill by mode items, I can't see one thing that I don't like about these items so far. Uh, then we have another sink right here, which has like a nice stone background. It looks very old, you know, it looks very old and like I said, cultured and like, you know, of a, of a certain generation of a certain genre, like a certain world, you know what I'm saying? Like a certain aesthetic. I'm saying the same things over and over, but anyway, <laughs> And then we have the stereogram shower. Look at this one. Oh my goodness. I love it. Why is it called stereogram? Stereogram tile shower. There's a hidden image for you to find as you gaze off into space during the long cold showers. A hidden image. Look, I'm looking y'all because I'm just like, where? <laughs> where? All right. So then it comes in all these colors. You know what? I'm glad that they finally gave us some showers with like, like this with patterns and stuff in the back, because some of us want to play with stuff like this. And I'm known for like trying to make my own showers. Like, I'm not going to lie to y'all. If we can get like, I've had that build a shower kit or whatever. It's like a mod and it just comes with the shower head and it comes with the, you know, and you can just kind of like make your own shower. And I've used that sometimes. Like when I just want to have like a custom look shower and not have like a just out the box type shower. And I like the fact that they've given us something to that nature. So this is pretty. And I like this little um, pool right here for the shower. Very nice. All right. Then we got a tub step deep wash. Okay. It looks like it's straight made out of cement. Doesn't it look like it's made out of cement? Like someone just literally just made a cement mold, poured the cement in and took the mold off. And then boom, you got a shot. You got a tub. And this black and gray one again, I, I just don't know what it is about that one. Just it is like all up my alley. I could already see this is going to be trouble. Like my entire houses are going to be full of black and gray and I'm not even a black and gray person. But with this stuff, yeah. Yeah, for sure. Uh, so the only thing I can see so far, I guess I'm trying to see, like, I guess some of these things can kind of be used together. I feel like they're not like these two. I feel like, you know what? That's exactly what it is. These two look like they would go together and these two look like they would go together. You know what I'm saying? Like it looks like these two in the same bathroom and these two in the same bathroom, but I can't see using this and this in the same bathroom and I can't see using this and this. I, to me personally, I can't. So, but that's okay. You might want to interchange it and mix things up. But the cement look like the concrete look with the concrete look to me looks like and then the glass with the glass. I don't know. It looks like it to me. Um, then we have the pop-up archaeology workbench, which we probably need to leave out because that's going to probably be something for gameplay. But it says archaeology is a fast, competitive, on the move science. This workbench was designed to keep up with scientists in the field or those working from home. And it gives you the archaeology skills. So definitely need to keep that out so we can check that out. But it's definitely been loved. It's definitely has like, look at these stickers on here. This sticker is from the Granite Falls pack. I recognize some of these stickers. So definitely a very world, well, well traveled sim and very well loved, right? Very well loved. I like the fact that they made it not look new because I mean, it's supposed to look old and stuff. But anyway, so then we have the carved bar, which is absolutely beautiful. 
Um, I loved all the details and stuff on it. Again, the black with the gray is beautiful. Um, wow. Wow, wow, wow. Okay. And then we have the craft sales table, which is another interactable thing. I think you could sell your Sims goods and stuff on here. Yeah, stock up, tend. So basically, once you come back from your adventure and you have like all your things you want to sell, you could kind of use a table like this and hopefully it'll work like in San Mishuno or something or, you know, you could just kind of like, I just came back from the city. I think, well, not the city, <laughs> from the jungle. Then we got a food stall. All right, let's put this over here. And this one would be, you know what would be really cool? And this is just going to be like, if we could, those public areas in San Mishuno where the food stall is at, if we could edit those and like add something like this, I would think that would be so cool. The same thing with um, Brindleton Bay. You know how they have the food stalls? I think it'd be so cool if we could just like add that. So it makes me wonder if I place it anywhere, will someone just show up? And so we got some fresh algae scum. Um, where does it go though? Would it go in the water? Okay, decorate your pond. So we need to put that in a pond. So we'll do that later. And then we also have giant water lilies. So we'll do that later as well. And then we got a potted jungle ferns. Let's go take a look at this really quickly. Oh, wow. That's really pretty. I'm, I'm moving my head like I'm looking at it. <laughs> so the flower looks like it stays the same and it's just the base, the pot itself. So let's zoom down and look at all the colors here. Um, that's really pretty. It looks like, it looks like real pottery to me, but the plant itself stays the same, but it has like a really nice lush, like lush texture to it. Like you can see like the reds and the greens and stuff to in it. That's really pretty. Uh, then we got a potted, Ooh, they gave us another three pot plant thingy like they did with laundry day. I like these, but sometimes they're kind of hard to place because the, see how the big this square is, you're going to be trying to like squeeze it in between stuff. And like, realistically it should be able to fit in between these things because look it should be able to but because that footprint is so big it's not going to so that's the only thing about things like this um you know but it's cool let's see real quick okay so different colors on the pots different little combinations so that's really pretty okay so then let's go over and look at some of the wall stuff we're going to flip to this side and do it on this side so looks like we got some wall cracks here oh my goodness that looks so detailed it like immediately transformed this wall to like looking like it's all cracked up and stuff then we got a mirror here uh which is kind of like laid up against yeah it's kind of like leaned up against the wall here that's really pretty uh let's see the different colors i like this one i really like this little stud the little stud look on the sides uh then we have the scattered ruins makeshift table all right, so this is a makeshift table. It looks like it's a piece of stone that kind of like got broken off. And someone said, hey, just use that table. And somebody was like, that's a great idea. That's a great idea. Then we got a broken jar here. What is inside that broken jar? But why would you use that? I don't know. So let's check out the swatches here. So let's check out the swatches here. So... <laughs> That's so weird. What's the, what does this say? This old vase relic is crumbling and, and worn. There seems to be some sort of bone fragments mixed into the sediment inside. How is this obtained? It should be in a museum. So bone fragments are inside of here. Does that mean like the skeleton will come out of here? Wouldn't that be creepy? You're just like sitting in your house and you just have, for some reason you've decorated your house with this. Why? I don't know. And then a skeleton comes out of it. That'd be awesome. And here is it unbroken. So you have the broken and the unbroken option. And then you have a three one that has a bunch of them. Let's check out the colors. So it comes in three colors. Look at this y'all. It definitely looks like it's worn and stuff. Like if you took a good cloth to it and polished it. I like that though about, oh, this one comes in way more colors. And then I think you too, y'all, if you wanted to like recreate this but have different colors, you could probably size it down and then like do move objects on. Think about that. And then you can make your own little layered pieces like that that'd be really cool uh and then we have this right here the rubble ruins um and it basically says ruins of rubble are you really ready to release the, the and resize the ruins remainder on the road or would you rather reign in your rage and respect the relative wait what and the relative reminder of relaxing recreation what <laughs> what was that <laughs> What was that? Like who sits down and figures out how they're going to say these things and what they're going to say? Um, anyway, I have no clue what this is. The only thing I can think of is if you wanted to use this um, to make your own little ruins area, you can probably throw this in front of it. Maybe grab a couple of these. Let's see. 
Can you make it like boxed in or something? I have no idea. Make it like, and then put this like in the corner. I don't know, like maybe something like that. I have no clue, no clue. It's considered a decoration though. So I, I don't know. I don't know. And I lost everywhere we were, <laughs> but that's okay. Um, all right. So then we got those. So let me get rid of some of this stuff real quick. So, so far, so good. Some of the things I'm a little confused by some of the things I'm just like, wow, these are really awesome. Um, uh, but yeah, a lot of things I'm confused by right now. <laughs> so we got the welcome to the jungle base sign camp. Okay. Base sign camp, base camp sign. I said that backwards anyway. And it comes in different colors. Awesome. And then we got the skeleton here, which can kind of like guard. So you could make your own little ruins. Wouldn't that be cool if you could make your own little ruins and then you could also like make puzzles and stuff in it and have your Sims like really go adventure off. Or if you could share it on the gallery and have other people's Sims, you know, use it for their Sims. That'd be awesome. I'm just, psh, I'm thinking all out the box right now. Uh, you know, this one's called the married couple. Okay. All right. So it's, it's him and her. I would assume he is here. No, this is probably her. All right, let's see what colors it comes in. Um, okay, very pretty. Wow. I like these a lot. And imagine down the size down option. And if you want to put it on the table or something as like a piece of decor. Uh, then we have the statue of Madre Cosecha. Okay, the Cosecha. Oh, goodness. You know, every once in a while, I have to question my intelligence. Like, Samantha, do you really know how to talk? You know, I question it a lot. I do. I do, y'all. All right. And then we got uh, this one, the Totakalama. You know what? I'm just going to say, I'm just going to put them out. Let's put them out. And then we're going to take a look at them. And they all look exactly the same. We just ran out of money. So let's delete some stuff here. Um, all right. So they all look Okay, they're a little different. Okay, I see it now. There's a little there's a little differences to them. So there's different little animals. So this one looks like a llama. This one looks like a an eagle. And this one looks like a a, a cat, like a one of the jungle cats. And then this is just like a flower. So you could really just kind of make your own little ruin area, you know, with all of this stuff. You really could. All right. So then we have this one here. You're full of sticks, decorative centerpiece. Wow. Okay. So that one goes on that shelf. And does it go over here? Nope. Okay. So it does go right here. So you could stack that one there if you wanted to. Um, so that's nice. But just these two slots right here, it seems like. Okay. And then again, if you want to size it up, you can have it sized up and it looks really good sized up as well. Some things don't look really good sized up. So I forgot to show you guys the colors. That would, that would, that would make sense if I showed you guys the colors. So here's all the colors that it comes with quite a bit. Same color scheme though. So you kind of get like a, the same vibe about everything. Uh, then we have the throw rug here. It's really pretty. Then we have this rug here. Let's go ahead and put this one out. And then we have this, um, oh, this circular rug that has like, oh, it has the freezer, but the little freezer bunny guy on it. Okay. And this one comes in different colors. It's funny because it doesn't look like a rug. It looks like it could be like a stone piece. I think about it if you use that, like if you did like a tile area, I'm going to show you guys what I'm talking about or later, but if you did a tiled area and use that as like the centerpiece, like of your entryway, I think that'd be like really cool because it looks like it doesn't look like a rug to me. It actually looks like a stone piece. Um, anyway, so then we got these rugs right here. Ooh, I like the feather one. Wow. Okay. And then we have this big one here. Oh my, look at these colors though. And that black and gray again. Uh, then we got this fireplace, which I'm excited about because from what I understand, you can place it anywhere. Let's just take a moment to applause because I have been wanting a fireplace that you could place anywhere. I have been wanting that for forever. Now, if we could roast marshmallows and fish and stuff in fireplace that you could place anywhere or even stick like pizzas in here and do like a whole wood oven pizza thing, wood pizza oven, wood oven pizza, whatever, I would even love it even more, to be honest with you guys. Um, anyway, so it comes in these colors right here. <laughs> I'm so crazy. I'm like wood oven pizza, pizza oven wood. I don't care. I don't care. Whatever you say, but you can also place it up against the wall if you wanted that look as well. But again, I like the fact that you don't have to place it up against the wall. I could place it on top of this rug if I wanted to. Probably not the wisest thing. It might catch on fire, but you have options and that's all that matters. That's all that matters. Um, so next we have this wall. What's it called? wall brambles okay which is just basically like some greenery that goes on the wall and it's actually look at that it's actually raised up from the wall 
So it has like a little bit of dimension and texture to it. So you can make like a building and have it be like aged with a bunch of these. Look how crazy that you can have them aged like with a bunch of them and you can kind of overlap them like that. And the whole entire building can just be filled with this, with the brambles, with the brambles. All right. Then we have a spirit of the jungle. Is this like a sticker? Okay. It's like a little lit up sticker. It seems like. Yeah. Oh, spirit of the jungle. It does kind of light up. That's actually pretty cool too. Use that for like your venues for outside of your venues. Uh, then we have the hand spun tape tapestry. I was about to say tapestry. I don't know if it's tapestry or tapestry, but we're going to, it sounds more authentic to say tapestry. We're going to say tapestry anyway. And it comes in all these different colors, which is really cute. I like these too. Oh my goodness. Love, 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 love. I like that one too. Y'all, so far, so good. So far, so good. I am really loving this stuff. Uh, then we have the framed harvest calendar. So let's put this over here. And again, it has the, oh, it's kind of broken and it has the same little, I want to call him the freezer bunny, but I don't know if that's what his technical name is called. But anyway, um, it comes in different colors. I um, really like this. I like the fact that it's like in a glass, like it's like it's um, a preserved piece, you know, like you don't want to touch it or anything like that. Like it keeps it from the dust or what have you. Uh, then we have a weathered lantern. Let's take a look at it really quickly and very nice. I like it. I like it. Uh, very nice. Like that too. Then we have this lamp, which I'm going to have to probably get. Well, I'll just put it on the floor for now. Um, and this really pretty as well comes in different colors. It'll go really good with that bedroom set that we had earlier out. Um, like this color right here though. I like that color too. Wow. Okay. And then we have this rustic candle shab sh whoop, pfft, chandelier. I was about to say chandelier. I've been talking way too much today. I don't have a ceiling, but basically it's a chandelier with candles on it. You can kind of get like the vibe from it just based on that. And it comes in a lot of colors as well. So you can do like this orange. Ooh, and then add that to your room. And then we have the metal sconce, which does it go on the wall? Oh, there you go. Okay. So, Ooh, that's pretty for like, man, that's really pretty. I'm just shocked at how pretty everything is y'all. I am shocked right now. Everything is just absolutely just stunning so far. Um, all right. So then we have uh, the classic modern fridge. Okay. Oh, it's a little bit shorter. It seems like than our fridges that we have in game now. And it's definitely classic and it's definitely like old timey. So I do like this one. It's definitely different. Like I said, in certain houses, it'll really make the house like it'll give the aesthetic like it's supposed to in the blue though. Wow. Look how it has like a little shine shimmer to it, like a brushedness to it. <laughs> a brushedness yes brushedness then we got a barbecue drum oh so we can do some barbecue this reminds me of sims 2 castaway jessica used to grill and stuff on like a can like this if you guys seen that series you know what i'm talking about but even if you haven't seen the series but you've seen somebody else's or you played it you know exactly what i'm talking about anyway it comes in all these colors so you can kind of grill on that for some like authentic grilling and then we have the dresser wow and then we also have the curator's cabinet. We need to put that out so we can play around with that and put that over there. Let's check out the colors real quick on this. Uh, so just a bunch of wood colors. Very nice. And then we have the dresser, which is probably going to be the same thing. And this beautiful black and gray, which I cannot get enough of it. Oh, I love that black and gray. I do. I do. Uh, and then we have the beds. We saw those already. And I think the only thing we're missing now, um, and some more wall fixtures. So let's go back over here and start putting these up on the wall. So we do have more. We got the ruins trim. We got the crumbling ruins trim, uh, which actually goes up on the wall here. And then we have this one. So you could, you really could make your own little ruins. It seems like then you got these two. You can kind of put that in front of it. Maybe then you, Oh, whoa. Then you got this tall, big. Wow. Wow. Okay. I'm, I'm, wow. I'm like, I mean, wow. Like so many creative options right now. Like seriously. Uh, then you have this one is the stone. Oh, oh, yes. Okay. A wall column facade. So can we stack these? Oh, we can. Perfect. Do you know how often I want to make like a feature wall, but I want to break it up and stick like the fireplace in between. And a lot of times I'll use the, the, the columns and try to do something like that. And, uh, 
and you know, it, sometimes it just doesn't work out for you. So I like this. And then that way you could put like a whole nother, um, we can't do it all the way up. Oh, we could overlap them. We could overlap them without move objects on. It's kind of doing like a weird glitch, but still. And then when you do your wallpaper, you could just put like a certain thing here and then everything else would be like another color and it'll kind of frame your fireplace. I like that. Um, then we got a ruins cap. Then we have these, uh, sun glyph. Um, what is this one? Like a llama? Let's see. A llama <laughs> should have known. Then you have a tree and then you have a fire and then we have, um, the leaves and then we have an arrowhead. <laughs> These are only a hundred dollars a piece, so you could really make like a whole wall. Then we have the um, water, and then we have the watcher, the poison, and the death. Oh my gosh, y'all! Death. Oh my gosh! And then um, key, uh, builder, chaos, and food. Okay interesting then you got this one that can kind of go along the wall y'all oh my god look at all of these that we have we got so many oh i could put that on top if i wanted to i like the fact that they're giving us so many creative abilities like right now like i mean i could just layer these things on and it's just like not a problem i love that and these are really cool too so they come in different okay so they do come in different colors so you can even make them like like they're a little bit worn or they have like tribal paint on them um, oh my goodness. Or basically they, they might've been like this back in the day before like the rain and everything, like kind of rinsed them out. I like the colored options a little bit better. Look how pretty that is. It's almost like tiled. Look, it like came to life. Like, look at this. Like all of a sudden it's like, boom, boom. That is a beautiful, just absolutely stunning. <gasps> Y'all, I really like this stuff so far. Oh my gosh. Then we got this one. And then we do this one. Then we got this one's called the unadorned treasure chest. We're just going to say that. Why use a normal chest when you can store your belongings in a treasure chest? Perfect. Exactly. Then you got a rustic rubber tree anchor. Oh, okay. And then we have the treasure, another treasure chest. Okay. So you have two treasure chests, one, which is probably like a little bit just natural and like more made out of stone and one that's been adorned a little bit. Let's check out the colors on this one. Oh, wow. I like these y'all. Wow. They did a good job. This one's got like little cracks and stuff on it. And this is just a whole bunch of different wood ones. Y'all. Wow. 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 I am just, I am shocked. That's all the, the buy, buy stuff. Basically I'm shocked right now. And then we had stuff. Wait, I'm missing stuff y'all. Cause when I made a mistake and X out of the thing, I'm missing stuff. So we got this hanging piece right here, which is like a hanging fern. Wow. And it can go up against the wall and look how it's hanging down. Look at all the texture and stuff on it. Wow. Okay. Then you got the green, the purple, um, the creeping base. I'm just gonna say creeping. Cause I don't know. I don't know how to pronounce that. <gasps> I'm not going to even try to pronounce it. Okay. I'm not going to even try. Let's get rid of all of this stuff here though. Even though I really like those. Um, so we got this one and then that one, which is a little bit taller. Then you got these that's going like a little angle here. Then you got this angle. So you could just kind of like make your own. <gasps> then you could do that and like put it on top of it. And then you got this one. Look how big this one is. Oh, I could put it here. It could go in the shower. That's probably a mistake. Yeah, because that's weird. Why can't I put it up there, but I could put it in the shower. Either way, we'll just take a look at it right now. But look at the textures and stuff. That's really pretty. And all the different greens and stuff. It looks... It looks, it looks good. I like it so far. Y'all, I really do. I'm like losing the camera and stuff. I'm like, just, <laughs> I'm like shocked right now. I am absolutely shocked. Do these come in different colors? Okay. They don't come in different colors. The purple do though. This one does. So let's check out the different colors real quick. So we could do like a pink or a burgundy or a purple. And then this one is just, so basically the ferns are just one color, which makes sense because in nature they would just be green. You know, they would just be green and it wouldn't be that big of a deal. Uh, then we got the open air natural toilet. We missed that one too, which is interesting. <laughs> Hopefully you could just use the restroom in this. Maybe not woohoo. So bladder energy. Okay. So you could sleep in it too must be. Okay. And then we're just missing the giant water lilies, which actually go in the water. And then there was algae too that we're missing that so we did get everything though that's a lot of stuff a lot of stuff a lot of different little um 
ideas and different little things or whatever. You know, just, just a lot of different little, I, I don't even know how to say what I'm trying to say, but just a lot of options. I mean, you could, you could, there's a lot of options here. Uh, we didn't get like a ton of clutter. So, but I guess that's okay because you're supposed to go out in the world and look for things. So that way, when you come back, you could just kind of place things on these shelves and stuff. So that'd be kind of cool. So let's hop on over to the build stuff and go grab the, um, the stuff that we got from the jungle adventure for it. And it looked like we got some banana trees. Ooh, I like it. And then we have, um, a brazel wood. Oh, wow. That's pretty, y'all. I like that. And then we have the, what's this one? A tree fern. Okay. And then we have this ivy palm. Oh, my goodness. Oh, look at this. It's like ivy going up a palm tree. Wow. Can we please get beach next, y'all? Because this is just making me want beach even more. Then you got this tall one right here. Look how tall it goes up, y'all. So you definitely are not going to use this. Unless you make like New Crest, which is the blank world. Unless you make it where it's just like, it would just look weird. It would look totally out of place here. I mean, look at it. It would just look totally out of place. <laughs> but I do. I like it, though. I do. Um, all right. So let's let's get this out. It's just, it's just really, really tall. I like it, though. But it's just really <laughs> tall. <laughs> anyway, then we got the grass clump here, which is cool. Then, of course, we got the, the toilet uh, coming up again. We got some um, ground fern. We got uh, jalapa plant. Okay. Jalapa or jalapa. I don't know. Um, then we got the Swiss, the Swiss cheese plant. Okay. Interesting. I, you know what? I've seen these before in real life. I didn't know they were called. I wonder if they really call Swiss cheese plants. And then we have these right here, which is just some grass fern type things called maiden hair fern. Then we got the agave. Oh my, oh, you could, oh, I'm about to say you could actually put it in it. You kind of can though. Can I overlap? You could, you could just overlap them and make like a whole jungle type, like grassy area. Uh, then we got the small agave. We got that. Okay. So we got the small agave, then just a regular agave. Okay. And then we have a can of plant. Can we put, okay. So we could kind of put it in there, but not all the way. And this is the same plant that was in that pot that was over there. And then we have the bromelade plant. I'm hoping I'm pronouncing these right, but I like the fact that you could stick these in there. So if you wanted to y'all, you could really just make like a whole, bushel of stuff look how i'm making this jungle just that quick just by kind of overlapping the stuff just that quick i done made a jungle that's insane look at this like the things are just going inside of each other i love it can i even put this in there too i'm like just playing around right now y'all then i can put trees in there and then can i put more okay that's i guess now i guess it's like now you don't went too far it's like, you don't want too far now, Samantha, you're doing too much, but I mean, you get the picture. You could just like layer it up like this and you can make your own little jungle. I mean, look at that. That is awesome. Oh my gosh. I love it. Um, so that's all the trees and stuff that we got. We did get, um, some new doors. So let's, let's make some space right here so we can get some of these doors and stuff. Um, actually do it. Let's do it over here. Uh, not like that. Not like that. All right, let's get rid of all of this stuff. And that and that and all of that. All right, so we'll do the door right here. So you got this door right here, and then we have a double door right there. Then you have a rustic archway. Something must be on the other side. Okay, that stuff is still over here. Um, all right, so let me get rid of <laughs> it's like trying to find the space. Well, let's look at the doors real quick before I do that. I'm just like so excited right now. I'm just like jumping ahead. Um, so the, the same similar color scheme, color palette rather, and then the same thing with this one. Man, this red door though. Oh my goodness. Wow. Okay. And let's get the doorway here. Oh, I like it. It's different. It's really different. I'm glad we're getting different stuff. You know, it feels like sometimes we get the same stuff. It's like the same stuff, just a different pack or whatever. But we're really getting some different stuff with this one. Like really, we really are. Uh, and then we have this one here, which is like an archway, like a tiled archway. Oh, that's pretty too. And then comes in different colors as well. I like that. Very nice. Very nice. All right. So that is uh, that stuff. So let's look and see if we got any windows. We did get some windows. We got this one here. Uh, then we have this one. These are pretty. I like these. These are really pretty, y'all. And then we got this one here, like a bunch of different wood ones. All right, cool. And let's just go and X these out. 
and then let's do uh, the rustic shutter closed and then you have the rustic shut oh the rustic shutter open oh my gosh and it's like actually out to the thing there's like no window pane or anything so it's like it's really out that's actually really cool and then we have this one but it's open and then on the other oh so on this side it'll be like completely open and then this side is the inside and that's the outside and it's like really open y'all so you could just have like an open area man i'm shocked right now i love these yeah, I've been wanting stuff like this for a while. Then you just have this one that's just open. Then you got a wall and then you have this one, which is like a little caved area. I like these. Oh my gosh. Let's check out the colors really quickly. So just a lot of different woods. The same thing with this one. Perfect. Wow. Y'all, these are really nice. Okay, so that's that. And then for the walls, we got quite a bit of walls. So let's go check it out. I was gonna show you guys what I was talking about over here uh, with the with the wall thing. If you want, well, it's not gonna work because I got this one not overlap, right? But that's what I was meaning. Like if you wanted to frame your wall, you could do that. Look how cool that'll look. And then you can just like, you know, do like a whole different color on the other side of it. You know, like do something like this. How cool would that look? Like immediately, look at that. I just did this, I just threw this together just like right now. That's insane. I like it a lot. Wow, yeah, so I do like that because that, that just gives you so many design capabilities. I mean, just like instantly, I have like a feature wall from my fireplace. So um, these come in plenty of colors. <laughs> Should have did that first, um, but plenty of colors here. So I, I like that because you got the whole tiled wall and then you have the wall that has the tile at the bottom and then you have one that just has it like halfway up the wall, it looks like, or maybe like a third of the way or three or one quarter of the way. I don't even know. But anyway, so you can kind of just like play around with um, those different little options. We also have this color, which is really pretty, and then this lighter blue color, but the the dark blue looks really good, especially up against this fireplace, like how it is right now. So then we have this one here. It's a high tiled mosaic. It's a little bit higher. Um, again, really nice. Look at all the color options though, y'all. This one would go really good. Oh, I got rid of the, um, <laughs> I got rid of that shower, but it would go really good with that shower. And then we just have like a solid color that's got like that. I don't even know, like the old, it's got like a really nice texture to it though. Look at all the colors this one comes in too. Wow. Love it. I like it. Y'all, this stuff looks really good so far. Anyway, we got stucco and stone. So we got this one here. I'm not going to go through all of them because clearly it's quite a bit. Then you have one that has like a little rocky um, feature at the bottom. Then you got this one. Um, is that the same one? Stucco and stone. Stucco and two-tone. I see what's the difference it's a little bit well is it a little bit higher or no and then we have this one is just plain stucco I think yeah stucco and stucco on you stucco and you and then you got stucco and stone I don't know what the difference is so you got smooth oh you got concrete so one of them's concrete one of them stucco but like it looks the same to me it does it kind of looks the same to me but um then you got the ornate stone blocks uh oh Wow, so you could have like an old house that has like stone blocks. Look how nice that looks just already. Even with this crazy, um, even with this craziness in the middle. <laughs> that looks good, like already. Oh my gosh, like just like that. And then you have the uh, solid stone blocks here, which are just like the blocks like by themselves, which also looks really good. And then you have one that has like a little feature in the middle. And again, look at all the colors and stuff it comes with. That is amazing. The green has like a mossiness to it. So you could definitely use this for like an exterior of your wall and make it seem like it's like all, you know, aged and stuff and like there's algae and stuff on it. So that's really cool. So that's like, look at all the wallpaper stuff we've got, y'all. That's a lot, to be honest with you guys. That is quite a bit. Um, I don't think we got, okay, we did get some ancient pool trim so let's make a pool really quick i'm just going to make a really quick pool just so we can see that stuff and then um we can check that out so kind of gives you like a, the ruins look look at the detail though there's like stuff on the tile 
that's really cool. And then uh, we got some water. So we got brackish water. All right. And then we also have a hot spring water. Look how pretty that is. And then we have, of course, the algae. So if you want to make it just like, I wonder if you can use these in the ponds too, or is it just the, okay, it says decorate your pool or pond. So I guess it could be either one. Then you got these right here. Those look like really massive lily ponds, don't they? Are these lily ponds? Are those, okay, giant water lilies. Okay, they're not lily ponds. I was thinking there was those things that the frogs sit on, but it does look like those. Man, so just that quick, we did that. That's really cool. Uh, I know we got some fencing, so we got this fence right here. Let's go on and place it here so I can show you guys. And then we have this one here, which is really pretty. And then we also got some new stairs, um, which I, I'll just place them here just so you guys can look at it. But look at that. Wow. And it'll go with that wall. Didn't we have a wall that was like half and half like this? Is it the one that's over here? Not really. Um, oh, it's this one. <laughs> it's sitting right there by me. So is this one right here? You could probably use that wall along with it. So it could look like it's just one smooth piece. And then we have this one here. That's just, um, just bricks. Very nice. Oh my goodness. And again, look at all the colors that options that it comes in. Wow. 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 So that's the stairs. Y'all, we got a lot of stuff. This is like a builder's dream. You know what I'm saying? Like, oh, we can get rid of the base of it and just have the stairs. Well, it, when was that possible? I never seen that before. I didn't know that you could do that. I didn't know you could do that, y'all. Can you do that with other ones and just have the stairs and just have a baseless staircase, like a floating staircase? I don't know. That's interesting. I forgot to check the gates. We didn't get any new gates though. So that's interesting. So we got the fence, but we didn't get any new gates. And I did forget to show you guys because we did get some new, um, some new railings. So we got these right here. Uh, which to me would look better with, I think to me it would look better with these. Let's see real quick. To me, yeah, it would look better with these because this one with that stone look, I feel like with the wood, it looks weird. It doesn't look like it goes together. Um, yeah, it doesn't look like it goes together, but yeah, it's neither here nor there. All right, so that's all the outdoor stuff that we got, I think. And then we can go to tile. And this is what I was talking about with the tile stuff. Or if you want to do like a feature. Oh, okay. I'm going to say, oh, it's not going to work. But if you want to make like an entryway, that's what I was saying that this rug would be really good for. Because you can like have it where you first walk into your Sims house. You know how you walk in some people's houses, like those little Jaja houses. They'll have like a nice centerpiece in the center. I feel like this one will do really good this rug that's supposed to be a rug I think it would look really good as like a centerpiece like that um anyway then we got this wood I mean look how good that looks just like that uh then we have this stone um let's do another color though so we could just see like this red color and that contrast with the um yeah see what I'm saying wouldn't that be cool and then really if you wanted to do it really fancy you could border it with this wood color oh I can't <laughs> I wasn't I wasn't up there all the way and then look, you like made your own little entryway just like that. That's really pretty. And it'll still go with the aesthetic of those chairs of the of the tables that had the reclaimed wood with the different color wood and everything in it. So I like that. I like that. OK, then we have this one here and then we have this one here, which is like a nice textured stone. And then we have just a solid cement one. It's got like cracks and stuff in it. And it's crazy because it looks like almost every single one of them is a little bit different. Like, look, it looks like it's like a little bit different here and there. And then we got the ancient temple hieroglyphs. OK, it's just the llama or is it different ones? OK, it might be different ones. OK, no, it's, it's just the llama. OK, no, it is different ones. So you can either do like the square one or you can do that one or that one with the llama or that one with the llama face. So plenty of floors. Like I said, this one, if you like to build and you like to furnish your houses and you want something different than what we already have, this pack is just perfect for you. Like seriously. So we looked at the windows. Did we looked at all of this stuff? We looked at the trees, we looked at the fences. Did we get any new? We got this guy here. All righty. Which is really pretty too. Um, does it go into the other side? And this is what I was talking about when I want to do my feature walls like this. It does get difficult to do it when you know it's going to go to the other side. What if I don't want it on the other side? So that's the reason why I like these flat pieces for that reason. But these are really pretty too. Uh, let's see what colors they come in real quick. 
Alrighty. Very nice. Um, did we get any new? I think I really want to say I think. Okay, so we did get some replica temple fountain. So you got this one here, and then of course the algae and the water lilies. So um this looks like just like a little water fountain on the outside. What does it say? The Temple of Ancient Past had fountains that look just like this. Maybe perhaps. We don't really know for sure. <laughs> but this is the best guess using the most current information about the past. <laughs> I just want to know who writes the stuff. Just, just somebody tell me that, please. Who writes the stuff? I, I really want to know. Um, all right. So I think we didn't get any new roofs. Um, we did get it. Well, not roofs. We got new roof coloring. So you have this mission style rooftop, which looks very similar to one that we've had before. Um, I don't have a roof now to show you guys and no chimneys. I don't think anything else. Then we got this, but we see, oh, we got this whole, wow, this whole thing right here. And then we have a wood one. Wow. Just like that, huh? Wow. Yeah, this is a builder's like if you like to build and furnish your houses, y'all, this would be like the dream pack for you. I think that's it. Oh, no, y'all, we got more stuff. What am I missing here? All right. So I'm glad I went back and checked. So we have this um, rustic two by one shingle awning. And then we have a three by one. Is that three by one? Yeah, so three by one shingle. And then we have this uh, ornate wooden balcony. Wow. So this is what the shingles would probably look like if you were to use the ones on the roof. And it comes in all these colors. What's, the, oh, the blue is the base. Okay, I'm like, where's the colors at? All right, so it comes in all these colors here. And then this one comes in all of these colors. <sighs> I don't even know what to say, y'all. I am just like, I'm, I'm, I'm pleasantly shocked at all of the stuff. And I mean, I have been seeing pictures and videos and stuff like that. Nothing compares to when you see it in person because it's, it's, it's totally different than what I was expecting. Totally different. Um, and to say that we got all of this stuff, it feels like I'm still, I'm still finding stuff. That's wall sculptures. We went through the windows, we went through the doors, uh, we went through the wallpapers. Uh, then of course we got the rooms here. So then we got this room here, the cozy Cochina, um, comes in different colors. So you can kind of see how it looks and we can go in here so you can kind of kind of see kind of kind of <laughs> kind of see like how they did where did this come from though nothing here can be cloned but what is this traditional harvest basket i didn't see that though i didn't see that in our stuff so where is it at but it's telling me it can't be cloned so where do we get that from i don't remember seeing that at all but um that's really nice it's really pretty and then they put that rug on the floor right there. So that's really nice. So that's one room that we got. And then we have the Royal Baths. Wow. <laughs> the Royal Baths. We take her highness to the Royal Baths. Okay. Then you got this one right here. Oh, wow. This one's really pretty. Okay. And look how they did the um, windows along the side. They're like windows, but they're like privacy windows. That's really nice. Uh, then we have a mirror here. We got this here with the where are they getting this traditional harvest basket from where is that i didn't see that before but anyway and then we got the shower look how pretty that is and then you have this lit sign in your bathroom i don't know why why you'd have the lit sign in your bathroom i'm not sure all right and then we have the unwind from the grind um and this looks like a bedroom i'm gonna get this one because i see that bed that i like all right and then we have uh wow so you can see the light fixture here it's very pretty then you have the open. Oh my goodness. Can you imagine sleeping here and being in the jungle and this is open and you could just hear like the sounds of the jungle and you could feel the breeze and stuff. I love it. All right. And then we have the explorers cash, cache, cache, cash. I don't know. Anyway, let's put that down. Then you got this one here. It's like a little living area with a little bar. And then of course you got the little archaeology table. So that's really pretty. And these wall pieces right here, the open windows. Wow. Now this stuff is really nice. Alrighty. And then last but not least, I got to get rid of all this stuff. We got one more room and then I think we're done. I'm moving my head around too much. I keep losing my hoodie. Anyway, so then we got this room right here. It's called the solar something or another. It looks like it's an outdoor seating area, um, which is really pretty. You can sit and grill and enjoy the water and eat and enjoy the fun and the food and everything. So that one's really pretty too. So quite a bit of stuff, y'all. And I, I hope I showed everything. I know 
sometimes you forget stuff when you're sitting there looking, but I hope I showed everything. Um, I feel like I did. The only thing that I'm concerned about or confused about is like, I really didn't see a lot of clutter items. Um, and sometimes clutter items are nice. It gives like a little bit of extra personality to your, your houses and everything. Um, I, I mean, I see the shelves where they give you the clutter, but that basket, I don't see that basket. So that's really weird. Unless it's something that you get when you go and you could buy it from the shop. So maybe that's the reason why they didn't give us a lot of clutter because you could just go buy stuff from the shops there or you could just go find stuff. That's the only thing I could think of is the reason why we didn't get a lot of clutter. Um, and it's not a bad thing. I'm not gonna sit there and say, oh no, we didn't get a lot of clutter because we got like a lot of other stuff. But you know, I'm used to like having like little knickknacks here and there to just kind of like place things on. Um, but you know, still very nice pack. I am shocked y'all to be honest with you. I mean, all the stuff is absolutely gorgeous. I love the colors. I love like the meaning and the theme and the feeling you get from it. I feel like you get like a feeling from this pack, if that makes any sense. Like, I don't know, like something in you that's just like, wow, this is like really cool. Um, so definitely a thumbs up. I love it. I don't think there's one thing that I didn't like. Um, yeah, I don't think there was one thing I didn't like about this pack, about this, about the build by mode items. I'm going to go ahead and wrap this up here. Hopefully I got everything. And, uh, if you guys have any questions or anything, let me know down in the comment box. Of course, don't forget to thumbs up the video and comment and don't forget to subscribe if you aren't already a subscriber. And yeah, I'm going to do, um, I know for sure at least one speed build with this. I'm going to work on it in a little bit so just you know stay tuned for that and I do want to do like a little gameplay but I'm trying to decide whether I'm going to do it in a, in a live stream but if I do do it in a live stream I will definitely let you guys know I think it'll be better to do it in a live stream because that way we can kind of talk through things and you guys can ask me to show you things or something like that as opposed to me just like doing things on my own and not really knowing what you want to see so I might do it in a live stream situation so Anyway, let me know what you think down in the comment box down below and I'll see you guys next time. Thank you so much for watching. Bye.